may not be suitable for all audiences. You know, social media has also helped, although I'm creating something called cultural media, which I think is greater than social media. So I'm working an application on that. Art, 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 art 101 with Mr. Burger. Scholars, welcome back to another episode of Art 101 with me, Mr. Berger. I'm a professional artist and a master educator, and I attempt to provide you with the best in our historical content. If you like the content, make sure you interact with the content. And uh, it goes a long way to help out with all kinds of things, with the algorithm and whatnot. And it's free, so you might as well just go ahead and have it. All you got to do is push that button. So here on Art 101 with Mr. Berger, we look at all things art, right? We look at artists, we look at artwork, we look at all kinds of different things, big and small, in the art world. And one of those things that we sometimes will look at is art media. Today, as you know, you clicked on the video, you know we're going to be looking at acrylic paint. So today... We're going to be looking at how this discovery of acrylic paint went from the beginnings into a very popular art media in schools and with artists uh, to this day. So let's go ahead and jump on in. So there are many different paint media that are out there, but the one we're going to focus on today in this particular video, as you know, is acrylic paint, which was first developed in 1934 by German chemical company BASF. By the 1940s, it was popular in home painting because it was easy to use and clean and dried fast. It was less toxic, so there was a lot of upside for using acrylic paint. As we get toward the late 50s and 60s, pro artists began to use acrylic paint because it was less expensive. It had really great color. It was usable on many different types of surfaces and could replicate oil or watercolor sorts of look if necessary. Now that look of oil was also made possible with Permanent Pigment Company's first water-based acrylic gesso in 1955. And the following year they released a water-based fluid acrylic paint. Chewie, take the professor in the back and plug him into the hyperdrive. <laughs> Some of the very first professional artists to use acrylics were the Mexican muralists like Diego Rivera, Jose Clemente Orso, and David Alfario Sequeros. They bought their paint through Politec Co. from Mexico City that was founded in 1953. Other prominent artists that would utilize acrylic paint would be the abstract expressionists, primarily the color field painter Helen Frankenthaler, Robert Motherwell, and Mark Rothko. It was used by pop artists like Roy Lichtenstein, Andy Warhol, and David Hockney. Now over time, some artists and art schools have looked down upon acrylics, but there really is no argument that these acrylic paints are widely used by both professionals and students alike. And if you're getting into paint, I highly recommend getting a nice set of acrylics and exploring all of the opportunities that you can unlock in this really great artistic media. <laughs> Friends, I hope you enjoy getting that content as much as I love being able to bring it to you. Until next time, you have yourself a good day. Make sure you remember to like, share, subscribe, and do all those fun interactions that are free for the taking for you my scholarly scholars. <laughs> anyway, have a good one. Enough talk.